beautiful people out there. Today is a very special day. Today I am taking photos on a coffee tour here in my favorite restaurant in Salento. It is the restaurant called Brunch and they just started the coffee tour and I'm upstairs taking their photos. And yes, look. Look, be reflected like two minutes after we do something beautiful. If we have hard roasted machine, you will love this coffee. I know you're feeling it, but this one has a really special flavor. Really special flavor. Okay? And I think Isabel will love the last one. I can't drink anymore. So the tour is actually going really well. They're almost at the end, I think. And I've been taking photos and recording all the time. So I want to give them some proper good photos afterwards. Like it was just so natural and so welcoming. And then spending like the last two hours here. You know, like it's been so fun and so memorable. But I think it's the passion and seeing all you guys work together in the environment, like you're doing this but you're also giving the tastings to other staff members and like it's just, it's a really beautiful environment. Thank you so much. Really, really, like what you're doing is amazing but it's also the way that you're doing it. I think that's, mm. yeah, the really <laughs> Hello you beautiful people out there. So today I already took some photos of a coffee roasting tour and now it's time for me and Ricardo. You know him from the other videos. And we're gonna roast some more coffee. Because before I was just taking photos and I have no idea what actually happened. And now he's explaining me the whole process. No, okay. Sorry. Can I put them in? Yeah. actually roast the coffee beans. These are the, how do you say, unroasted? These are the raw coffee beans and then in here they go roasted and this computer keeps track of everything so it's really really high technology coffee roasting here. When you roast the coffee what happens? So what happens is like the coffee changes like physically you're getting all the water out so you're actually dehydrating coffee and after the coffee is dehydrated you will start getting the oils out and when you get the oils you will be actually having this chemical process where the real like the particular flavors of coffee will come out you need to get to that precise place where you have the best flavors there but not too far where the heat actually changed them and kills them what he says to 10 minutes um, the beans are roasted and then you have to cool them down so they don't keep roasting they're actually on a fan so they can cool down and don't change their quality right now that's roasting coffee here at the brunch restaurant with my friend Ricardo and all these beautiful people here. Hello. hello. <laughs> All my new friends. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and comment and like if you want to support me. And see you tomorrow. Bye.